just basic dude stuff. You know? <laughs> wow. Welcome to the video. <laughs> We're uh, just warming up <laughs> right. for a power workout with Mr. Pat Magnum, McNamara over yeah. here. How many people have trouble saying your name? Ah, a few, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. That's why I just go by Pat Mac. You do so, your workout split, the five rotation. Mm -hmm. yep. This is completely different from a body part split, which is really fun. You got a power day, strength day, speed and quickness, hypertrophy, and skills. It gives you focus for that particular day. Yeah. So you can mentally prepare yourself. Strength day. I need to lift heavy sh on strength day. Power day. How much, how fast. Speed and quickness day. I want to think fast. <laughs> yeah. How'd you come uh, to that five? Because they're all full body. I think full body is real important. Too many guys work in isolation. Who needs to work in isolation? Bodybuilders. Right. I'm a NASM guy, National Academy of Sports Medicine. Yeah. And that helped me piece that together, breaking down the work week like that. And then I'm also under the uh, Mike Gittleson tutelage, University of Michigan strength yeah. coach. It just gives you focus. Because too many guys go into a workout with no focus. What's their objective? Well, I showed up and I'm gonna work out. Four principles. Four uh, principles yeah, the, of uh, why to work out. Right, the uh, number one, self-preservation longevity. Yeah. Stronger, longer. Number two, to have the ability to save your own life. Number three, and more importantly, in my opinion, the ability to save somebody else's life and number four, the ability to kick somebody's ass. <laughs> if you if you hold all four of those together in your mind at the same time, it kind of gives you like running, jumping over a fence, grabbing yep. something heavy, moving something heavy, mm -hmm. being able to dodge something. Yep. Like yep. it's pretty intuitive like what things actually fit those needs. Just think about saving a family member's life for me car wreck or a burning building yeah you're gonna need all that stuff or if you have to wrestle another human <laughs> or if you got to jack somebody up yeah it's kind of like where this movement comes yeah, from yeah yeah you know yep <clears throat> it's just like you're gonna throw someone yep yeah that's one of my faves your flexibility is amazing it's high it's not like yours uh, get you some band we get got, you some get you some band <laughs> Yeah. You get them on his website. You got three of them linked together. We do a triphasic movement. That's what he says. So you have really heavy concentric throw, isometric, and then kind of a slow eccentric. Nice. I swear to God, you're the only person I've ever seen first time go with that. <laughs> <Whoa. laughs> <laughs> I'm a big fan of a lot of transverse plane of motion. Twisting, torquing, yeah, turning. Yeah. And then the triphasic as well. Yeah. So similar. Man, the, the stuff you feel on this, you know? Yeah. When you hold in isometric, you could feel so much stuff activating. Hip flexors, uh, uh, delts, abs, uh, pecs. Bet you don't have any lower back pain. Nah, um, lower back's real good. You know so, what, I think it's because of this stuff, because I noticed this past year, I've had more lower back pain than any other year in my life. Mm -hmm. It's because I, I am not doing as much twisting stuff. Yep. So I think a lot of the sagittal plane work is like, that's the key for like back health in a way. You know, transverse. Yeah, transverse. transverse yeah. yeah. There's too many morons on the interwebs who watch a video and say, "Bro, you're gonna mess your back up." No, this is this is how to prevent messing your back up. Yeah. Good low impact type of movements. This is for back self preservation. I hold it. Uh, oh. So it's. Uh, yeah, I feel that the bicep. <laughs> yeah. Feel that uh, left pec activating. Yep. The front of that deltoid activating. Uh, your uh, right uh, hip flexor, probably. This is my driveway, not Pat's. What's going on? You need to avoid malnourishment. Huh? Listen, you idiot. Why are you in a bathrobe? I'm from the future. What's the price of Bitcoin in the future? You need to drink AG1. Are you my dad? Shut up and drink this. Oh, AG1, my favorite. Yeah. It's winter and we need to avoid looking like my degenerate bathrobe wearing future self. That's why I drink AG1. AG1 is a daily foundational nutritional supplement that I've been using for years. It's a staple year round for me, especially during cold winter months and when I travel. AG1 raises our baseline health through a science-driven formulation of micronutrients, phytonutrients, and essential symbiotics. AG1 supports the brain, the gut, and the immune system 
I drink a scoop of AG1 with at least one meal per day when I'm home, and I love the AG1 travel packs when I'm on the go. It's an effortless daily habit, and it tastes really good. No, it actually tastes really good. Go to drinkag1.com slash to get your free welcome kit. That includes the canister, a shaker, a year supply of vitamin D3K2, and five extra travel packs of AG1. Thank you, AG1, for sponsoring this video. How do I get back to Pat's workout? Hey, uh, future degenerate bathrobe wearing Juji, how do I get back? Just shake the bottle. Oh. Did your band snap? <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> if John's using them, yes, they can. <laughs> I've seen that in a lot of your videos. And then, oh. There's no such thing as um, not enough or too little weight because you put into it what you get out of it. Yeah, the harder you pull, the harder yep. it pulls back. Yep, 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 yep. I pulled an extra one out here for you. Yeah? <laughs> I call it. I say this was spawned by Satan. <laughs> keep oh, yeah, nice. Right. Yeah, it's just like it's like It'll a, jack you up. It's like the Goliath group yep. video. Got him! Oh, 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 getting used to it. Yep. A, it's got a little bit of a learning curve. Yes. And then slow it down. There you go, so it doesn't hit the bottom. Oh wow! <laughs> yeah, it's pretty harsh. Yeah. But uh, they they were missing one thing on this. How the hell do you move it in and out? You know your garage. Yeah. I just put wheels on. Oh, you no. did? Yeah. Did you add them? Yeah, I just you added, added those. those. Yeah. <laughs> oh wow, yeah. So in their upgraded models? I hope don't... on their upgraded models they put wheels on. Because yeah. otherwise, how are you going to move it around? <laughs> wheels. Just basic dude stuff. You know? <laughs> we train a circuit here? Yeah, yeah. I have a, uh, a recipe with combat strength training. Work in anaerobic chunks in circuit uh, to near metabolic threshold to meet an aerobic goal. Usually I don't stop. Your brakes are going from one piece of equipment to another, one exercise to another. Yeah. And then target time is between 25, 35 minutes. Yeah. Something like that. And that's all you need if you're doing it right. You know, hard work sucks, but not everybody's cut out for it. Right. Know what I mean? Very simple, it's just not easy. You learned yeah. that one. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> the Litvinov. Oh, is it? No, no, no. Did you want to try this? I do, yes. I gotta get my mind right for this. <sighs> Oh, that's part of the exercise. Yep, yeah, but you don't have to initially. I thought this is up your alley. You wow, look this... like you're tailor made <laughs> for something like this. The learning curve of the yeah. flip thing, yeah. <laughs> How did he do that? Oh, uh, it's a little flip, but it's close to the body. It doesn't happen the first try. Oh! oh. oh. Yep. <laughs> so you keep doing that until you're just like, ah. Yep, yep. <laughs> Ideally, when I'm doing this stuff for power day, it's 10 reps. Yeah. So 10, 10, 10, you know, and then rotate through. So you just rest as long as you yep. feel like is like appropriate right, because the thing is, 25 to 35 we need, minutes. We need some rest here. Yeah. I want circuit, but with rate of force production, no speed, no power. Rest just enough so the next thing, whatever it is, you can go into it with power. Yeah. Today, aqua bag. For me today, it would just be uppercuts. Uh-huh. So nice. Why just uppercut? <laughs> well, it, 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 I mean, I could change it up. You could do, <laughs> you could do combo, but it's a good power uh, movement. Yeah. You know, because boxing, a lot of it's, you know, sp speed. You want to yeah. whip, whip a jab out there, whip it. With an uppercut, always power. <laughs> so that's a full body, you know, pop up. Uh -huh. <clears throat> just worked with an MMA trainer. Nice. Yeah. Like you're fighting in a phone booth. And then, yep, yep. More body and less arm. Obviously, I don't know what I'm doing. Yep, no, it's good. Aqua bags are freaking great. Um, Is it got water in it? Yep. Yeah, yep. obviously. And wintertime, it's a lot 
harder. Yeah. <laughs> it, it, because, oh, it's pro. It's a right, because no, because the the rubber gets harder. Yeah. So it's thick rubber. So it's super rigid. Another little cool one over here for you. Oh yeah. Oh man, talk about ab ripper. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I can see it. Yeah. Just you keep your rear against the wall? Yep. Otherwise, I'm going to get thrown backwards. Yeah. <laughs> what do you call that? You, you, I don't I don't have a name for that one. So it's a you kind of you don't do this. Right. You keep it Yeah, more. yeah, yeah. You look semi load it. Yep. Yeah, I feel it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that should make your abs scream. <laughs> Some deep abdominal muscles. Yeah, involved. yeah, like yeah. I feel like real deep, right. not just like right. curl, curl up. So I'm like, that's some like organ muscles. Yep. I'll put five exercises together. You're pretty much getting the entire body, and I would do that for like four or five rotations ish. Yeah depending on what the body tells me, then get back to work. There we go. Feeling yeah. good. <laughs> yeah. How to get in shape when you're in your 50s? How to get how to get back into shape because because I was sick for so long. Yeah. My fitness level went to crap because yeah. I was 2 years real sick with this disease, polymyalgia rheumatica. I'm coming up on the end of the 4th year. So 2 years real bad. One year not as bad, and I'm coming out of it now. The challenge now is <clears throat> how do I get back into really good shape? Because before I was sick, I was in great shape for any 25 to 30 year old dude. Yeah. Uh, I don't want to be in good shape for a 59 year old. I want to be in good shape for a 30 year old. Yeah. Five revolutions of those exercises. <laughs> Maybe. The year of the cardio for me. Whoa. Yeah. I'm going to throw some sh Yep. <laughs> Let's go. I feel so safe right now. Yeah. <laughs> Special ops badass over here. <laughs> the golf cart. <laughs> This is something I think that fit people should incorporate into their uh, routine. Throwing. 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 Yeah, I mean, I am, I'm no, I haven't been taught how to throw, you know, I've never been in a throwing sport or anything. Yeah. Uh, but damn, man, throwing. You know, that, that release, that rate of force, rate of force production, then release. Yeah. And then we, we could go transverse, we could do uh, lunge and toss, uh -huh. and then we'll do a couple. Man, that way. Overheads, yeah. yeah. It's like close, it's almost all concentric, explosive. Yes. Like, uh, there's not very many exercises that meet that bill. Right. Yeah. Yep. So like the throwing. Ah! Ah! Then you gotta retrieve them. <laughs> yeah, Bat. Right. Yes, sir. You're done. Smelling salts. Oh, shit. No, I haven't. Oh. Woo! <laughs> How you feel? Great. <laughs> <laughs> all right, let's throw some. <laughs> yeah. This is all hip, you know. If you put more hip into it, uh -huh. these things are gonna go further. Wow. Uh -huh. Oh, okay. Now I got a benchmark. <laughs> 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 Check out uh, Pat's workout log. And on uh, this day in 2024, I threw up and down a hill for 20 minutes. Can you imagine if we had a, a field right. of men out here yeah. just throwing this <laughs> shit, throwing shit. Yep. screaming like 
50 yep. dudes. Better charge you up. <laughs> Not saying a word to each other. Does this conclude the section of throwing shit? Yeah, yeah, it concludes the section of yeah. throwing shit. Yep. Yeah, man, so a little story on this thing right yeah. here. Yeah. I built the trebuchet over there when I was really sick uh, with the uh, PMR because I needed to keep moving. I yeah. needed something to do, keep the hands moving, body, and all that stuff. And then when I started getting better a year ago, December, I torched it with a flaming arrow. Really? Yep. I'll show you the video. Yeah. This is a great place to go for walks. Or... Yep. I used to, when I used to do a lot of acrobatic tricking stuff, I had like a catalog of places I found that I could go out yep. like this and like practice my moves. It was real scenic looking and fun, but yeah, something about being outside and just having that environment and just being by yourself out in zone working out. Great for that right It's there. really good for that, yeah. Throwing stuff, pulling stuff, pushing stuff, picking stuff up, putting it down. What else is there? Yeah. Well, you want to do a podcast? Yeah, sure. Yeah, let's do a podcast. Let's hit it. Guys, yep. we're going to do that. That's in the next video. And uh, yeah, all the stuff in the bottom of the screen, you check out all those links I've gathered for you. A lot of other cool videos that I found that he's in that you want to watch. It's a really fascinating person. <laughs> <laughs>